as that puck is uh, cleared along the wall and bumped back out to neutralize area. On the give and go, Mitch Maloney can't pick up the puck there, number 15. He's a sophomore from Macomb, Michigan. They've got it right side of Davis Jones. They work it out front. There's an opportunity, backhand shot, and they score right off the bat. I think that went kissed off the crossbar first and the rebound chance knocked in and Matt Robertson down in the mix of things there and just 59 seconds in, not a very good start for Alaska. They fall behind one to nothing. It's about the worst way you could uh, start a hockey game right there for the Anooks. Uh, this uh, guy left wide open uh, going ahead to the net and uh, to create some offense out there but yet still play some defense out there. Here's Basari getting it back for Krieger. Krieger with a shot. Oh, boy, does he snag that one once again. A nice save by Darren Smith. Austin Beath, he'll take it side circle. Back on top. Here's Wentz with a shot. Goaltender makes a save. Rebound between the circles. Picked up, steered, and cleared by Jared Van Warmer. Mayhew. Mayhew. Stick handles with it. Side of the far faceoff circle. 45 seconds of the power play chance. Ansel Meany back now for Mayhew. Mayu will pinch in, Mayu with a shot, and he scores. Power play goal, Ferris State, they will take a 2-0 lead. Got to stand on the penalty box. They'll make you pay for it. What a shot by Mayu. You know, just below the blue line, uh, coming around uh, the top of the circles, and a wrist shot uh, right over the blocker of uh, goaltender Davis Jones. And it's, a, it's a goal that hurts. Puts him up two to nothing. And Mayhew, top of the goal, the 626 mark. Mayhew with a goal at the 626 mark. Puck brought in. With it now is uh, Andrew Duranis. Andrew Duranis with pressure from Zach Fry. Durani skates with it. Back out top for Simone Denis. Between the circles, upstairs, score three nothing, Ferris State. They can just pass that puck and. Work it back out to the point. They're getting at the last two goals coming way back toward that blue line. 15-37 time of the goal. So a couple of goals now, just a span of a little over two minutes apart. Take it from 1-0 Ferris State to 3 nothing Bulldogs. Let's we'll see here if Davis Jones is uh, screened on this. Boy, it looks like yeah. he... Yeah. Justin Woods is on defense. Hats. Getting it back for Rechtenwall. Back out top for Mayer. Mayer shot. Oh, boy. That one just flutters over the shoulder. It might have got deflected out front. Goal number four for the Bulldogs. That's a tough one to give up. Yeah, I mean, that's literally a fluttering puck. I'm not so certain it didn't change direction. It bounced off somebody. I think it gave credit. And if that's to the goal for Andrew Mayer, that's going to be his uh, second goal of the night tonight, number 19. All right. It looked like it. Or no, it would be his first goal, I guess. It looked like it went right in. It just fluttered. It's kind of a C and I puck. We'll face it off now. Nettix win the draw, but it comes out to center ice. And that's the hockey game as the Fair State Bulldogs are going to win it by a final score of 4 to nothing. The second career shutout for their goaltender, Darren Smith. And for the Nenix, they're shut out for the third time this season. They lost their opening game to St. Cloud State 3-0. Were beaten by Lake Superior State 2-0 on December 5th and now suffer their third game without scoring a goal. But the cool part about it is they'll play again tomorrow night. Denis pushed back there by Sparrow. Intercepted now by Marcus Bassaro. He got a man off front, wide open. There's a shot and a score! 35 seconds in, Nenix go up 1-0. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, they got the lead and they're on the board early. John Mullally left wide open in the slot. I mean wide open. There wasn't a man anywhere near him. And uh, just a beautiful wrist shot right uh, past the blocker side of uh, Smith. 35 seconds into the contest, one nothing Maddox. John Mullally, who had a goal and assist last weekend. Atkinson now will lift it to John Mullally. Here comes Mullally and Atkinson. Here comes Mullally, works out front, right on goal, and a save made by Darren Smith. Oh, man, Darren Smith comes up with his finest effort of the night to keep it a one nothing lead for Alaska. Almost goal number two there. Ahead of speed there by the Nanux. That puck was on a string, uh, Mullally's stick. Able to get through traffic and get a real nice shot off. And Darren Smith uh, coming out to the top of his crease and making that save. 2.18 to play, period two, one nothing Alaska. Picked up, Munson, here comes Taylor Munson. Munson comes in, rebound! 
shot out front there. Oh, they put it off the shadow of the net. Another shot that goes right on goal and a save made by Darren Smith. Back to the point for Brandon Anselmini. Getting a piece of it there was Austin Beath. Beath couldn't quite clear it out. McDonough with a shot and they score. Power play goal for the Ferris State Bulldogs and we're tied at a goal apiece. Well, Austin Beath did a good job there at the blue line to block that pass. It just took an unfortunate bounce right to the Right to the other defenseman up at the point. Actually, it was number nine, Chad McDonald, the forward, playing the point on the power play. And I don't think that puck hit anything on the way in. It was just a straight shot Chad for the McDonald's point. Top of the goal, the 14.58 mark. McDonald with a tally at the 14.58 mark. Chad McDonald is a third point of the weekend. Here's Dora to clear it back in. Jenks will stop it behind his goal. He'll play it far side. Look out! A takeaway out front there. That puck ends up front, front there on a, a pass, and luckily it was cleared out by Colton Sparrow. Now Sparrow comes down the ice, works down. He's got John Mullally shot right on goal. That bounce bounces right out front. Here's Basara trying to put it to the side of the net there. And it's knocked now along, locked along the twine there, and we're going to stop it to play. Boy, that took an interesting bounce back behind the net. As it came right out front to Sparrow, and they didn't set up a scoring chance there for Alaska. A great scoring chance there with 11.35 to go, period three in a 1-1 hockey game. 315 and counting. 1-1 one, one score. Chad Staley. Staley top of the circle. Looks for a trailer. Out front. Veith with an opportunity and somehow, some way. I don't know if the goaltender got a piece of that one, but boy, Veith was out there, almost got goal number two. Kept alive by Krieger. Back for Fry and trying to tip it out front again was Veith. Doing good job to create some havoc for the goaltender. Here's Taylor Munson. Back now for Krieger. They put a shot on goal. Save made on the short side there by the goaltender, Darren Smith. Finally, Ansomini will clear for Ferris State. Boys, got to have that face off that's right. It. Of the All right, folks, we're going to overtime here. 60 minutes, not enough to settle this affair. Here we go. Power play chance will continue. Number two for 14 seconds. In front of the bench, Brandon Morley pushes him back. Lowney will get it back for Brandon Anselmini. Stirred in for Gerald Mayhew. Mayhew comes in with a shot. Save made by Jenks. They shoot and they score. As Ferris State has won it in overtime. 14 seconds in with their second well, let's see, I think that's going to be an even strength goal. Doesn't matter, it's a goal as Ferris State gets the sweep. 4-0 last night and 2-1 to one tonight. Jenks trying to plead his case with a referee, but uh, that net certainly got pushed off the mooring down there. I don't know if they'll go to a video review right here. It was clearly signaled as a goal by the referee down there, 14 seconds in. Let's get a look in the replay here, Eric Dragas. Yeah, that was a beautiful... Oh. Uh, <laughs> Well, apparently is going to, now this is crazy. It's going to a video review. We were in Wisconsin last week and they showed everything on the scoreboard. But for all essence, it is a power play tally. What a tough one to swallow tonight. But for Ferris State, they come up to a very tough place to play and they pick up four big points. And now they're within three points of second place.